Why couldn't radio survive in the face of television? What did we do wrong? Well, uh, uh, the answer to that, I'm afraid, is a, a bit uh, discouraging. Uh, radio, you see, television is much easier to assimilate. The viewer can be, can be uh, lazy and, and can suspend the usual powers of discrimination. He doesn't exercise them. In radio, there was no term the equivalent of boob tube. <laughs> there was no term the equivalent of couch potato. And that's because the radio audience participates. As Jim told me last night, we have proof that radio drama is still alive because with Jim's program, the Carver Mystery Playhouse, he was informed yesterday that he now has five times the audience on his time slot, nine to ten, Saturday and Sunday nights, than the second station. Well, I'd like to defend myself if I may. <laughs> no, you see, this doesn't speak to the excellence of the programs. I wish that, that I could believe it did. It speaks to the paucity of that kind of program. If, to put names to it, uh, Colby Chester, who recently mounted a very expensive production uh, with live music, I understand, and uh, an adaptation of a very popular fiction writer's work here. I know them all, and uh, I'm glad they did it. And what I would hope is that it doesn't flare into existence on public radio and disappear. It will. It was intended to. What we need, so that those rating figures won't be so absurdly top-heavy, is other stations to say, okay, French is successful with the with radio plays, but he does detectives and he does little dramas. Why can't we dramatize something out of history? Why can't we dramatize a big event in sports? Why can't we bring back, bring the same techniques to other interests in life and let that phenomenon that we're all familiar with, that is the only reason you and I are here in this room, the phenomenon of the mind's eye, the theater of the mind, imagination, whatever you want to call it, uh, let it be stimulated and sparked again, and it's inevitable that it will succeed. There is no way it cannot succeed, because it's part of our physiology. It's built into us to be able to take sounds and make pictures without worrying about the millimeter of the film or high, dent, high whatever it's called, HDTV, <laughs> hot dog TV. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 